In this video, I'll show you how to fix the something went wrong error on YouTube. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. I don't currently have the something went wrong error, but I'll still show you what you can do to go and fix it. So firstly, what you need to do is completely close the YouTube app. To do that, all you need to do is swipe up and then close off of it just like so. You can do this on pretty much all types of devices, including iPhone and Android, it's pretty similar. You just need to fully shut down the app. The next thing I recommend doing is just making sure your internet connection is working. It probably is because you're watching this video, but I just recommend opening up a web browser, whether that be Safari, Google Chrome or whatever, and just going to a web page to see if it goes and loads, which in this case it does. The next thing I recommend doing is fully restarting your phone or fully shutting it down and then um, turning it back on again. So to do that on an iPhone, you just need to hold the power button and the volume button together. And then what you can do is use this thing at the top, which says slide to power off, drag that all the way across and your phone's going to power off. This is just powering off, not restarting it. So once it powers off, it'll take about sort of 10 to 20 seconds to power off. Then hold the power button on the right hand side and it's gonna go and restart. And that is very similar on an Android device as well. Then, if that still doesn't fix the problem, what I recommend doing is going and deleting the YouTube app completely off your phone and re-downloading it. So to do that, all you need to do is hold your finger on it like so, and then going and tapping on remove app, and then pressing delete app, and then it's going to be deleted, and you can go and open up the app store, and then you can go and re-download it. And of course, deleting an app on an Android is very similar as well. Um, yeah, go and delete it, re-download it, and hopefully that will fix the problem and update it if there is anything, but by reinstalling it and re-downloading it, that's gonna automatically update it as well. And then you can go and open it up again and that should go and fix your problems. If you guys found this video useful, then please consider subscribing. Peace.